Do you remember the glory days of 25 watts PMPO or 10,500 watts PMPO or even 28,000 watts PMPO? They're back! That was back in the 1980s. However, Brightness is the number one marketing thing in a TV. Everyone, and I really mean everyone, be it Samsung or LG or Sony, they all claim their TVs being better simply because they are brighter. Look, brighter is not better. Brighter simply means brighter. None of them ever talk about how they achieve that high knit number. None of them talk about context, and context matters what type of methodology they use to achieve those numbers. Is it using 100% window, 10% window, 1% window, or 0.1% window? How many seconds or minutes the highlights can be maintained? How much of that number can be maintained post calibration? The possibilities are endless. You don't need 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 10,000 nits. Just look at my messy living room. It's an OLED TV with rated 1000 nits, but post calibration and to maintain any type of accuracy, the actual achieved brightness is only 800 nits. But as you can see in the sample picture, even in a very bright room, all I need is 800 nits max. So there's no need to be wowed by exaggerated specs. If you want to be wowed at all, wait until professional calibrators have reviewed the TVs properly. As for myself, I would rather have a TV that's really accurate over a TV that's insanely, insanely bright for no reason whatsoever. So feel free to share your thoughts down below in the comment. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching. And also, goodbye.